All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. So today, first thing I want to do in this, this is not a tutorial as much as it is a kind of a cleanup session. I've got some issues and some bugs that I want to address with the dialogue system that didn't come to light, or at least not fully until recently. I think the nature of building these tutorials is I get laser focused on certain features and don't always fully test everything, which, um, you know, obviously fully testing comes with play, a lot of play testing and Thankfully, my community has helped identify a few things. So let me just take this project here. I'm going to run this example scene. And nope, nope, nope. I don't want to run the whole game. Just this scene. Okay. So one of the issues is that when we talk to this NPC with choices, and I don't know if it's going to happen this time. Yeah, occasionally it won't autofocus these with the... Uh, keyboard input. Let me just run one more time and see what happens. Let's talk to him again. Huh. And it's working. Well, some of you might be having issues where that doesn't work, so we're going to look at that. The other one is actually related to exporting the actual project. It's not something we've covered yet, but we have people who are out there exporting the projects they're making following these tutorials. And uh, with the dialogue system, there's actually a pretty critical bug. So let me pull this up. So you can see here I've exported the project. And one thing you can do that's pretty handy is with the Godot, and I'll cover this in, an, in a video in detail, how to export a project if you are unfamiliar. Um, the project is, the game is right here. And you can see this aarpgtutorial.console.exe. I'm going to run this one. It'll put the console behind. And you can see right away when we run the project, we've got some script errors related to editor selection. And this is all related to um, how we made it so that we can display uh, the dialogue items in the editor while we're editing it. And if I go ahead and run the game here and talk to this NPC, you're going to see that this particular NPC with a choice, it's going to pause. The, the choices don't appear when I try and advance the dialogue. And that's all related to this script error and this failures that we're seeing here in the console. So we're going to fix both of those things. Uh, let's start with that console issue first. And it's actually uh, quite an easy fix. Um, the cause of the fix is because we're trying to call the editor selection um, singleton, but when you export a project, that's just simply not available. And so the way the way that we could have done this to avoid that issue altogether would be to have built some of the in editor features as a plugin in Godot. Um, and uh, I'll will I will be doing some plug-in tutorials in the future, but at the point of building this, I didn't think, I felt it was too advanced. Um, so the other way is we had to work around this. So let me pull up. So so let me pull up and, and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Now I want to find, I want to find the dialogue item. Okay, so this dialogue item script. Now this is the one that is, this is the script that is uh, accessing this editor selection, this, this here. So that editor selection singleton is just not available once we build the game. But the problem is, is we're trying to access it in this script. Okay, so there's there's a way around this. Let's go back to my dialogue item. Close all this stuff. So let's go back to the dialogue item here. First thing we need to do is we just need to remove this static typing of the editor selection. Okay, so by 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 including that static type, we're forcing the, the script to treat it as that type. And that's good practice, especially for performance. Um, but in this case, to avoid this issue, the simple fix at least is just to remove that so that when the game runs and it tries to access this variable, it's not going to care. It's not going to try and load up that type because it won't exist. Okay. The second thing is, is right down here in our ready function, we already have this if engine is editor hint, so this won't run in the game. But regardless, it is going to compile this script. And um, because we because we don't have, in fact, let me just undo real quick. See this editor selection? I'm just going to com I'm just going to comment this out like that, and then we'll just say remove to avoid uh, runtime bug. Okay, but because because we don't know that the editor selection is of type editor selection, this line of code might not run as well. 
And so we can do something else. I'm going to go ahead. In fact, I'll just comment, comment out this whole line and let's do it a different way. We'll say editor selection equals. Now, instead of calling the editor interface, we're going to say um, engine. And this is kind of an old get singleton. This is a, well, actually, I don't even know if it's an old, it's just an alternative way to get one of these. So um, this is something that I believe was the only way to do this in Godot, one of the older Godot versions, 3x. Okay, so instead of just saying editor interface, we're going to ask the engine to give us the editor interface and we're going to provide a string. Okay, and and then we'll say we still need this get selection. We still need to call that function. Okay, so I'll go ahead and, and paste that there. Save that. Now, if I I'm going to reload the project here and we'll be right back. Okay, so so we're back. Um, if I go ahead and run this scene, hopefully everything should still work with those two changes. So let's just come and talk to this guy. Hey, and there we go. We got the bug. See, it didn't automatically select the text with my arrow keys. I can't do that. That's the other bug we're going to fix. But we can see that um, this is working. And also, if we select our dialog text um, items or nodes in the scene, we're still getting um, the UI or we're still getting the display so that we can edit these, right? So let's just test this. Yeah, I can type and see the updates. Okay, so that all is still working. To prove my point here, I'm going to go to Project, Export, and I'm just going to export my Windows runtime version of this again. Say I want to override it. And you can ignore these warnings. These are because I haven't set up a way to, to pack the icon. So uh, let me go ahead and open up that folder. We'll run the project now. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to run the console version again. And when we run this, you can see right away, we don't get a whole bunch of errors. Those purple and red warnings and errors we had before, they're all gone. And then when I start my game and come over here and talk to this dude, there we go. I can see that this dialogue is now working. Okay, so that's the big critical bug that's fixed. And then next, let's just go real quick and address that other item where sometimes it doesn't select. This bug will be addressed in our dialogue system script. So let me just type dialogue system. Okay, now in here, I'm going to go to the set dialogue choice because that's where this issue is happening. And I'm not sure that, uh, if there's a better way to fix this, but right here where we're waiting the process frame, um, sometimes the buttons aren't ready to grab focus and sometimes they are. And I don't know exactly why, but I found with some somewhat extensive testing, I mean, it could be tested more, of course, if I just await the process frame twice, so we get two frames in there and then we grab focus, then generally I haven't, I haven't seen the bug reappear after I've done it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and just run the scene again and talk to my, my guy here. And I mean, this was kind of working before you're going to have to test this. Um, but that's how we fix those two issues. So if you see any more issues with the dialogue system, let me know. I'd like to put some more hot fixes in here and I'll include this in the NPC playlist so it's easy to find. And I hope this helps any of you that might be encountering this issue. Um, no, I'm not going to help you fight some crazy wizard because I haven't even built that yet. That's what I'm currently working on. I'm recording uh, today, the day that I'm recording this video. So hopefully I'll have more videos coming out in the very near future. And Gosh dang it, if I haven't fixed this bug yet with that crazy NPC. Um, but lots of stuff to fix. That's the nature of game development. I appreciate everybody for following along. If you, um, if this was helpful to you, please give me a comment or a like. That helps my channel grow. Um, for those of you that haven't subscribed, which probably is few on this one because of the nature of this video, please subscribe to my channel. That also helps me grow. And uh, stay tuned for what's coming next. I'm going to be doing some energy attack um, videos where we're making some some scenes and nodes that we can use for our boss battle and they could be used elsewhere as well so stick around for that and uh, as always thank you for watching